Don't let Derek Anderson's flirtation with 300 yards passing fool you. The Bills offense in general and Anderson in particular were bad enough Monday night to sabotage another quality effort by the Bills defense. And at two and six, they've sabotaged this season as well. Obviously wasn't good enough. We, we weren't able to move the ball enough offensively. And, you know, the quarterback plays a big part in that. And, you know, I thought he made some good throws and there's some throws that he'd like to have back. The biggest thing for us right now is we got to stick together um, as a football team, as a unit and, uh, and continue to work, man. Um, you know, we can't we can't hide from this. It's not going anywhere. We got to go right through it. Um, we got to own up to it own up to our record and continue to work. As far as, you know, making the playoffs, at this point, that's not even on our mind. We're just trying to find a win and get a win and try to get something jump-started here and uh, try to create a winning culture, something that we haven't been able to do this year. Sean McDermott had no update on the health of Derek Anderson. With Josh Allen seemingly unlikely to play anytime soon, there is the distinct possibility that Khalil Mack will be chasing Nathan Peterman around this field for 60 minutes on Sunday when the Bears come to town. For Bills fans, that type of scary thought is perfect for Halloween week. With the Bills Report at New Era Field, I'm Thad Brown.